We talk Washita Tigers athletics, football, and more today on the GAC Weekly with David Sharp. Hi, I'm Joey McWilliams. God bless you. Thanks for watching the GAC Weekly. It is presented by the Great American Conference, and it is a privilege today to get to visit with the athletic director at Washita Baptist University, David Sharp. And Coach, uh, thank you very much for taking some time with us today on the GAC Weekly. Hey, you bet, Joey. Good morning. Glad to join you. Well, listen, as always, it's a privilege, and uh, we want to make good use of your time. I know that you're a busy man. You're out and about right now, so let's get right to it. Football, it is not only on the horizon, it is getting closer every day. And the season pushed back just a little week, uh, a little bit because of the way Labor Day falls and all of that. So Thursday night, September 5th, will be the first night of football for the 2019 campaign. Uh, I know that uh, you often have a lot to do with what's going on, even on a national level, with the football rules and all of that. Is there anything that stands out to you this season that fans, uh, even on a casual level, might look at? Sure, Joey. Yeah, there's, uh, there weren't any real significant changes in rules this year, but um, uh, some of the things the fans will see, especially when they watch a television game, is you know the committee continues to, to evaluate targeting and uh, they're going to look at targeting a little uh they're going to enforce it the same but the review uh the replay official has the ability uh on those television games that fans will be seeing uh to 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 evaluate that play and if the elements of targeting is not there they will not say any more of the play stands it'll, it'll either be there or it won't they'll either pull it off of there or to be targeting it won't be just the play stands where they tell whether or not it is so uh, you know that's that's you know that didn't help us any of you know the targeting rule still in place and uh we do have the ability at halftime if it happens in the first half that the referee can can look at a clip off of the film and decide whether or not it was targeting but but other than that that's the targeting the what some of the significant changes is uh on the kickoff you, you can now not have where you have a two-man wedge. They eliminated the three-man wedge a few years ago, but now you right. can't even have a two-man wedge where two guys are holding hands or, or uh, you know, they're they're just in sync trying to double team a, a player, so they're taking that out. The deep later rule is they're, they're just they're trying to get that out of the game. They, they, it's not that you can't block, uh, you know, come in and get a block there. They just don't want a blindside vicious block, so leading with the hands will, will be something they'll be looking for. Uh, and then the, the other thing uh, from a rural standpoint is the overtime is once you get to the, I believe it's the fourth or the fifth overtime, it's the fifth overtime that you will, you will now have alternating two point uh, tries, uh, you know, from the, from the three yard line. And obviously the 74 to 72 game between Texas A&M and LSU last year, along with some others in the past, they finally figured that, <laughs> that let's get, let's not just continue to play. Let's, you know, you get to the fifth overtime, you're going to put it on the three yard line. If the team scores, the other team gets a chance and they both in there, obviously the, the, when one doesn't score and the other one does, the game will be over. So those are wow. your rule changes. Wow. Yep. Those, those are some interesting uh, ones and, and fans may or may not get a chance to see that, that fifth overtime, but still some of the other things that you mentioned there. And I, I, I have I would have to think that also the you know the rule in guarding or, or involving the targeting uh, expedites the game as well. It does. Yes, it does. Well, as we're on the phone now with the director of athletics at Washita, David Sharp, football has been doing very well there in Arkadelphia last two seasons as the uh, Washita Tigers, the GAC champions, fourth time in nine years to win the conference title and of course last season a historic year 12 and 1 uh, winning a playoff game as well the top seed in the super region uh, football is uh it's just going well there in arkadelphia right it really is it's going well. the staff have done just a, an outstanding job you know since the goal, uh, great american conference events and you know having four championships in nine seasons it's just uh, you know, it's a, it's a tribute to what they do and the leadership there and excited about that and the back-to-back -back championships the last two years and, of course, winning the, uh, the first playoff game, NCAA Division II history, getting to the final eight. You know, it's hard to get there. And uh, so just proud of that. And uh, we just keep working towards, uh, you know, getting getting better and better. And 
course, you're only as good as what the next game is. And so <laughs> I know that we're excited about that. We're excited about the beginning of the season. And, you know, we start the season with a bang on, on September 5th at, at Cliff Harris Stadium. And, you know, get the, the Arnie Bison. And, of course, we're excited. We were, we, were able to, we, we were able to get a gift this last year. And Cliff Harris Stadium now has um, – had some turf on it, some artificial turf. We're excited about that. It'll be a great atmosphere. We're looking forward to it. I, I did want to ask you about that. That that's a big deal. Of course, my goodness, uh, what a great way to open the season on a Thursday night is Washington and Harding coming in. And, and you you mentioned also the the fact that you're as good as the next game. You all definitely, I'm sure, have the target squarely on your backs this year, but playing on that new turf, an $800,000 gift. What a great gift for not only the athletic department, but also the university. Yeah, it's an outstanding gift. And, of course, uh, you know, the football stadium there, Cliff Harris Stadium, is the, you know, the first thing you see when you come into town of, of Washington's campus, and it, it really sticks out. And now we, we've had the, the – the fort, we're fortunate to have a, an alum and a, a former football player and – you know, a, a great man that loves Washtaw, loves Washtaw football, uh, give us that $800,000 gift, and we're, we're able to put that turf down and uh, just adds to the, to the facility and adds to the campus, and we're excited about that. Very appreciative. Uh, David Sharp, the athletic director at Washita. Coach, if you would, really quickly, uh, just highlight something else that, that uh, you all are pleased with. Coming into the 2019-2020 season, of course, the Great American Conference now heading into its ninth season of existence. And I know before long we, we won't even need to be talking about that anymore as it, it, it passes its first decade. But uh, anything on campus that you'd like to highlight there at Arkadelphia at Washita? Well, you know, Washita is just, you know, there's just so many good things about Washington. Of course, you know, our academic success is, is speaks for itself and the academic stature and structure and the, the just the majors that are available to, to different students. So just proud of what we have there, but also what our what our vision and our mission is. You know, we're unapologetic about our, our faith and the fact that we're Christian faith and uh, just what we do there. And, and you know, seeing our coaches and seeing our staff and seeing our student athletes that embrace that and especially our coaches that you know they, they they're yes they want to win on the field but they're also <laughs> teaching young men and women and, and and leading them in the right way to become young men and young women and to sharpen their you know their skills you know spiritually physically mentally emotionally and uh it's just really really good to see and it's it's uh it's really rewarding when you see the young man and woman that comes to our campus and not only in athletics, but all students, it's, it's really rewarding. Well, I appreciate that. And, and coach, you're exactly right. They need to be wanting to win <laughs> game in and game out, but to be unapologetic about the faith, uh, that's a lot. There's a lot to be said for that. So I appreciate that as well. Thank you very much for taking time with us today. David Sharp, the director of athletics at Washita Baptist University and the Tigers getting ready to get things going. First part of September. Is everything ready to go up there? Everything's good. It's all good. All right. Thank you very much again. I'm Joey McWilliams for the GAC Weekly. The GAC Weekly is presented by the Great American Conference. To see and hear this and more about the GAC, please visit oklomasports.net and arkansasports.net. And please, please be sure to subscribe to this channel, Midwest Sportsnet, the home, the new home of the GAC Weekly. For David Sharp, I'm Joey McWilliams. God bless you, everyone. Have a great one.